welcome to maths companion you may have heard statements like this there is a high chance to rain today i have studied well there is a high chance for me to get an a plus in mathematics just like this we come across chances in our day to day life today we are going to learn the third chapter mathematics of chance when we toss a coin the possibility of getting a head is 50% or 1 by 2 similarly possibility of getting a tail is also 1 by 2 let us discuss how to express possibilities as numbers there are 10 beads in a box nine black and only one white if we pick a bead without looking what will be the color of that bead it is most likely to be black as the number of black beads is more than the number of white beads but that doesn't mean we always get a black bead sometimes it can be white also now let us take another situation there are eight black beads and two white beads in another box how about picking one from this again number of black beads is more than the number of white beads so it is most likely to be black but sometimes it can be white also now let us take another situation there are five black and five white beads in the third box what if we pick a bead from this it could be black or white we can't say anything more right we can say all these in a different way from the first and second box the probability of getting a black bead is more from the third box the probabilities are the same let us have a game with beads five black and five white beads in one box six black and four white in another one has to choose a box and pick a bead if it is black he wins which box is the better choice let us draw our boxes at first in the first box there are five white beads and five black beads the second box there are six black beads and four white beads you have to select one box from these two and without looking you have to take a bead if it is black you win which will be the better choice in the first box there are only five black beads but in the second box there are six black beads clearly number of black beads is more in the second box so it is a better choice if you select the second box there are more chances for you to win these are our boxes five black and five white beads in the first one six black and four white beads in the second one suppose we take a black bead from the second box and put it in the first when we take one black bead from the second box there will be only five black beads remaining if we put one black bead in the first box there will be six black beads so our boxes are like this now six black and five white beads in the first one and five black and four white beads in the second one now to win the game which box would you choose that is you can choose one box and without looking into it you have to take one bead if it is black you win the number of black beads in the first box is 6 and in the second box is 5 that is number of black beads in the first box is more than the number of black beads in the second one we need to choose the first box if you choose your chance to win is less why number of black beads is more in the first box but there are a total of 11 beads and out of this 11 beads only 6 are black but in the second box there are only 9 beads out of the 9 beads 5 are black when we say i got 10 marks in mathematics exam you have to consider the total marks also if it is 10 out of 10 it is excellent if it is 10 out of 20 it is okay if it is 10 out of 50 it is a different thing 
if it is 10 out of 100 it is again different so the total also matters but why don't we consider the total in the previous examples in all the previous examples the total was same that is why we don't bother about the total in the previous examples if the totals are different we can say the probability of getting a black from the first box is 6 by 11 and probability of getting a black bead from the second box is 5 by 9 now which is more 6 by 11 or 5 by 9 there are different methods to check which one is greater you can make it into decimal another easy method is you can multiply like this 6 into 9 is 54 and you can multiply like this 11 into 5 is 55 clearly 55 is more than 54 therefore 5 by 9 is more than 6 by 11 that means to get a black bead it is better to select the second box see even when number of black beads is only 5 that is less than number of black beads in the first box it is the better choice because in the second box total number of beads is also less here even when there are 6 beads the probability is 6 by 11 and in the second box the probability of getting a black bead is 5 by 9 that means the total also matters what about the probabilities of getting a white bead in the first box there are only 5 white beads and there are a total of 11 beads so the probability of getting a white bead is 5 by 11 similarly the probability of getting a white bead from the second box is 4 by 9 now let us tabulate all these probabilities there are two boxes first box and second boxes and there are two types of beads black beads and white beads let me take the first situation number of black beads in the first box was 5 and number of white beads is also 5 in the second box there was 6 black beads and 4 white beads now let us find the probability probability of getting a black bead from the first box is number of black beads by total number of beads that is 5 by 10 or 1 by 2 similarly probability of getting a white bead is 5 by 10 or 1 by 2 now let us take the second box probability of getting a black bead is number of black bead by total number of beads that is 6 by 10 or 3 by 5 similarly probability of getting a white bead is 4 by 10 or 2 by 5 now let us take the second situation where we have taken one black bead from the second box and put in the first box so number of black beads in the first box is 6 number of white beads is 5 number of black beads in the second box is 5 and number of white beads is 4 now let us find the probabilities probability of getting a black bead is number of black beads by total number of beads that is 6 by 11 and probability of getting a white bead is 5 by 11 here probability of getting a black bead from the second box is 5 by 9 and probability of getting a white bead is 4 by 9 now how can we find the probability probability of getting a black bead is number of black beads by total number of beads probability of getting a white bead is number of white beads by total number of beads in general probability of getting something is number of that something divided by total another problem numbers from 1 to 25 are written on paper slips and put in a box one slip is taken from it what is the probability that it is an even number we have to find the probability of getting an even number and we know probability of getting an even number is number of even numbers divided by total number of numbers so let us find total number of numbers at first starting from 1 to 25 
how many numbers are the 25 right therefore total number of numbers is 25 from 1 to 25 how many even numbers are there let us consider from 1 to 24 half of them are even and half are odd that means out of first 24 numbers 12 are even and 12 are odd now let us look at 25 is it odd or even it is odd that means when we take numbers from 1 to 25 12 are even and 13 are odd therefore number of even numbers is 12 now probability of getting an even number is number of even numbers divided by total number of numbers that is 12 by 25 now what is the probability of getting an odd number we know number of odd numbers is 13 and total number of numbers is 25 therefore probability of getting an odd number is 13 by 25 now what is the probability of getting a multiple of 3 from 1 to 25 how many multiples of 3 are there 8 into 3 is 24 that means there are 8 multiples of 3 up to 25 therefore probability of getting a multiple of 3 is number of multiples of 3 divided by total number of numbers that is 8 by 25 what is the probability of getting a multiple of 6 up to 25 there are 4 multiples of 6 that is 4 into 6 is 24 therefore probability of getting a multiple of 6 is number of multiples of 6 divided by total number of numbers that is 4 by 25 now let us do some more problems first problem a box contains six black and four white balls if a ball is taken from it what is the probability of it being black and the probability of it being white here we need to find the probability of getting a black ball and probability of getting a white ball for that we need total number of balls there are six black balls and four white balls therefore total number of balls is 10 we have to find the probability of getting a black ball at first for that we need number of black balls there are six black balls therefore number of black balls is six hence probability of getting a black ball is number of black balls divided by total number of balls or 6 by 10 now 3 2s are 6 and 5 2s are 10 therefore we can simplify this as 3 by 5 now let us find the probability of getting a white ball what is the number of white balls here there are 4 white balls that is number of white balls is 4 now probability of getting a white ball is number of white balls divided by total number of balls that is 4 by 10 simplifying we get 2 by 5 today we have learned how to find the probability probability of getting a white ball is number of white balls divided by total number of balls probability of getting a black ball is number of black balls divided by total number of balls probability of getting something is number of that something divided by total number now there is a homework there are three red balls and seven green balls in a bag eight red and seven green balls in another what is the probability of getting a red ball from the first bag from the second bag if all the balls are put in a single bag what is the probability of getting a red ball from it we shall discuss the remaining part in the next video till then bye